War changes you by making you only follow orders and question nothing. Experiencing awe changes us by making us wonder and question everything. War makes you turn off your emotions. Awe turns us on to new feelings. War changes you by closing you off to the rest of the world. Awe changes us by expanding our world. And that can change everything. My name is Jack Garner. I'm a junior here at Calm. I'm studying political economy, and I'm a combat veteran. I went on two different deployments, one in 2009 and one in 2010. Like they, they were combat deployments to Afghanistan. They definitely changed my life. They changed my personality. They affected a lot of how I interact with people, with the world. And I actually got like, diagnosed with PTSD. My name is Craig Anderson, and I'm a sixth year PhD student in the social and personality area in the psychology department. I have specific interest in the emotion of awe. Awe makes people curious about their physical and social environment. You know, it's really hard to transition back. It is. Even though I say it was very smooth for me, I still had a lot, a lot of wall to dig through so you can stomach all these interactions and stomach all this that happened. We've tested if the curiosity that people feel while they're out in nature um, has downstream social benefits. We partnered with the Sierra Club who had a program of getting people out into nature by going whitewater rafting. Military veterans were a population that we had in mind that might especially benefit from being in the outdoors. I initially wasn't really sure how much fun I would have or if it would affect me that much. I don't particularly seek out like hiking or anything right now. We use three different methods in this study. So we ask about things like anxiety, how well people have been sleeping, how curious they are, and then we followed up one week later. We also collected saliva because the emotions that people feel are tightly related to physiological processes. And finally, we had GoPro cameras. We go through the footage to code for things like emotion expression, working together as a team. You know, if somebody falls out of the raft, who helps them get back in? One of the most fascinating things I've seen is kind of the transformation over the day where people lose that fear and are really enjoying themselves, playing with others, getting in splash fights, jumping into the water and going swimming. It's a lot of fun to watch. I had a great time. It was a whole lot of fun. The experience itself was just so touching and so much fun that it really, it struck me incredibly as very awesome. How many of you have... I think it's really interesting that even though I spend a lot of time with, with the other Cal veterans, that normally we end up drinking, we talk, we, 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 we nostalgic about combat, we talk about previous experience in the military, and it's almost like we're stuck in it. However, on this rafting trip, we ended up never talking about combat, I felt like we were all really living in the moment. And it really felt like we were almost moving on beyond our hangups. The veterans, a week after the rafting trip, reported lower levels of post traumatic stress and also anxiety. It's my hope that this research will help make it possible for people to get prescriptions to get out into the outdoors to help them with their physical, mental, and social health. Going on the trip helped me kind of analyze my own feelings and able to bring them to the surface. And I'm hoping that's going to be something that I can, that can stick with me and help me in the future as I recover from my experiences. <laughs>